and girls. Uh, today I'm going to teach you how to do the cup rhythm. I was just demonstrating it for you with a fun song that you might all know. Uh, rhythm is a concept in music that we use uh, year after year. It's something that um, usually in September, October we talk about rhythm with all my music classes. Um, and really this rhythm cup pattern is, is a very simple uh, pattern that only involves quarter notes and eighth notes and uh, a quarter rest. As you can see, I have written the rhythm up here and I place words under each of the uh, notes so that we can learn the pattern in our heads as we perform it with a cup. It goes like this. Clap, clap, bumblebee, clap, up, down, rest. Clap, turn, touch, touch, change, pat, down, rest. Now my younger students would learn this pattern using ta's and tt's. The quarter notes are ta's and the eighth notes are tt's and of course we wouldn't say anything on a rest. Ta, ta, ti, ti, ta, 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 ta. Ta, 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 ta. So it's a very simple pattern. So this video can be used with all ages and um, we can make it a little bit more challenging for the older students by doing the pattern at a faster tempo. I would not recommend doing this at a fast tempo until you can do it at a very slow tempo. You've heard the phrase, slow and steady wins the race. Well, that's really true in this um, procedure here, learning this rhythm pattern. So my suggestion is to say that over and over again. Clap, clap, bumblebee, clap, up, down. Clap, turn, touch, touch, change, pat, down. And as you can see, I'm acting it out as I say it. And that's going to help you learn it much uh, more quickly. Clap, clap, bumblebee, clap, up, down. Clap, turn, touch, touch, change, pat, down. And when I pat down at the end, I'm crossing over uh, my right hand. This is so uh, if you have a group of people doing this together, you could pass the cup along to the next person and the person on the other side of you would pass them uh, your cup the, cup, the next cup that you would use. Uh, so let's do that again. Say it with me at home. Clap, clap, bumblebee, clap, up, down. Clap, turn, touch, touch, change, pat, down. Now the second line, although the rhythm is very easy, uh, the movements can be a little challenging. Okay, please make sure that you are using your right hand to pick up the cup and put it back down, um, as well as when you do the turn. Uh, on the clap turn, you're going to pick up the cup so that you can turn it around, so it's right side up. When you touch your other hand, you're going to touch the bottom of the cup to your palm, touch, then touch the, the table, touch, and then change. You're going to put the bottom of the cup into your left hand, pat down with the right, cross over and put the cup down with your left hand. And that uh, pattern happens over and over again. You can do this pattern with any of your favorite songs as long as the time signature is 4-4. Four, 4-4 four. Four, four means there are four beats in a measure and the quarter note gets the beat. So if you can, if you can um, clap along to the steady beat counting 1, 2, 3, 4, then this song would, or that song would work to do the cup pattern with. I have selected the song. It's, a, it's actually a, a classical tune written by a man called Zoltan Koldai. And you can find the recording of this in Classics for Kids, uh, the website. I actually listed the website on uh, some of the, like the third grade bingo sheet, which I hope you're all continuing to work on those bingo sheets. This um, activity today can be used for several of your activities on the bingo sheet. For example, for the um, Kindergarten and uh, the pre-K kindergarten first grade bingo sheet. It says draw four quarter notes. Well, here you go I've drawn several quarter notes for you to see all it is is a colored in note with a stem So you can also um, draw some quarter notes today uh, You can also um, For second graders teach someone a rhythm pattern you could teach this to someone else in your family that would count as a, an activity on your sheet. Create a rhythm pattern using quarter notes, eighth notes, and quarter rests. Well, I've done that for you here. So if you want to um, copy this down, or you can create a rhythm pattern of your own using the same symbols. 
Um, also, playing along to your favorite song using items from around the house as an instrument. This cup is basically my instrument today. So that would count as that activity on your bingo sheet. So I hope you're having fun with it. This is a great activity for a rainy day, and it's something you can get the whole family involved in. In fact, I had my children doing this with me a couple days ago, um, and it turns out our video has had over 2,000 views on Facebook, and it was just a fun activity we did at home, and it can occupy you for hours of fun um, entertainment. So right now I'm going to play the song, uh, the, clock, the Viennese clock song by Zoltan Koldai, and I'm going to play the rhythm pattern along with it. I'm going to kind of demonstrate as well how you can pass the cup around uh, like in a circle to your family members during this song. Now I'm not going to do the cup rhythm for the whole song. Uh, this song has several sections to it, and if you can see the paper on the far right here, um, it's called rondo form. Rondo form is when you have a piece of music that has a reoccurring theme that happens. You're going to hear this theme. Dun 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 and that's when you're going to do the cup rhythm pattern to the A section of this song. Now there's a B section, a C section, and a D section that happen in between each A section. Um, during those times, I'm going to do a different movement. For example, I have tapping head on the B section, so I'm just going to keep a steady beat by tapping on my head. That way I can feel the beat and the time in, in this song. Um, also the C section, I'm going to tap my nose, and I hope you'll do this along with me. And then finally on the D section, I'm just going to pat my shoulders um, to show the different sections of rondo form in this song, the Viennese clock song. So please do this along with me. You can watch it several times um, to uh, practice the, the rhythm pattern, or you can, again, practice it on your own and then add your own favorite songs to it. Okay, here's the introduction. as the music changes, the beat stays the same, back to the A section. C section, tap your nose to a steady beat. section. C section, or the D section, I'm sorry. Notice the beat always stays the same through the whole song. And A. You can pass it. And there you go. It's a pretty simple uh, procedure, and again, you can get faster or slower to make it more challenging. I hope you will teach this to your family members, and it just would be a great time of family fun. All right, I hope you can share some videos with me on your family doing this or you doing this at home. I would love to see how everyone is doing, and uh, please enjoy your week.